They can uh, chill. Them close but, so you, you're more important than that. So you you're think that like the Bible said we get it from Adam and Eve and scientists. Bro, so you think there was a big old, you think there was a big old explosion? So and you don't want to know what that is. That's also a theory. Also evolution. It's a theory. Who is? Anything that Bible says. About who the Israelites are. Man, they get the muscles at this. Then it's a flying battle. And they hide up. So, All right, I want y'all to think of some other. Uh, think about some other word. The word horizontal. What does it mean? The word what? Horizontal. Guys, what's the word horizontal mean? Straight. Okay. What is the horizon? What does the horizon mean? Like the sun coming up or like down. That's what the sky. That's what. That means cor and correct. That's flat. Still also means flat. Sea level is what? Sea level. Flat. Eye level. Well, you can see it. But it's flat. Flat. Plain also means flat. Wait, if we in the dome, why when we fly in the plane, the plane don't hit the dome? If it's if we don't you know. Not not they don't let you go to the air. I call it the hood, they won't let you go to the air. We don't even know how big it is. They don't even know how big the earth is. You can't fly that far. We in a dome. You're trying to, they won't let you go to the air. Which is true, I agree with them. Oh, man, it's fine. You can't fly that far. Huh? Your plane's going straight the whole they time. They're not going to let you go to the water because they're going to let you go to the south. Yeah, if, if it was going straight the whole time, the water would always stay level. If it was wrong, we assume we'll alter it. Water and the ground glass. If the earth was wrong, if we fly the plane, we assume we'll alter it. You can't because of the farther. Let me give you another example. Let me give you another example. Water finds the level. Yeah, water finds the level. If gravity finds the level. Let me give you another example. If gravity, as y'all say, is a force, right? And the earth is round, right? So, it would take a very powerful force to hold the water that's at the bottom, which would fall, hold it intact with the legs. So that would take a hell of a force, right? But the there's, see, there's something see, underneath the water. They say that gravity about? is caused by the magnetic core, though, yeah. and that's a big core. Yeah. So Who's ever been, been to the core? The ever, magnetic core? We've only so been to the core. So we base our facts on theories. theories is yes, we exactly. All theories. We've only been seven. We really don't know. So we were really how, how they how they been down there to know it's there. They it would probably be too hot for them to go down there regardless. I'm either. saying like that's a response to what you just said about it. Oh, it takes a pretty big force to do that. That's a big question to ask. Right. But okay. So the city of my brain. I'm saying is, yeah, but y'all, but they're saying gravity is not a force. I think it would have to be. Who say gravity is gravity, a force? Gravity is definitely they a force. They say it is a force. And if it's that strong, and if it's strong enough to hold that water under the earth, that's under the earth, and hold us, who why doesn't holding? it? Who say gravity is holding us? Jerry, you're not paying attention. You're not paying attention. Who said water? I mean, the they got earth underneath the water. But that's what's holding the water. What you mean? Gravity it's would not. Oh yeah, of course. Gravity is holding it. If it's under, so I said that would have to be a very powerful force. Yeah, And if it's that powerful, the whole water, why couldn't it pull a bubble back down? It doesn't matter. It takes more force to hold something heavier than something to hold light. But so, okay, let's say it's the bottom of the earth, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if I have a magnet here that can hold a piece of metal, and that would have to be strong. Would you right, agree? Really like would you agree that it has to be strong yeah. to hold a bubble? So. All right. So look, if it can hold that 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 no, body of water, which water is the heaviest substance on Earth, should have no that bubble shouldn't be able to go nowhere. Okay. So would you expect gravity to hold on the smoke? Who? Would you expect gravity yeah, to hold, hold on the smoke? smoke? No, because gravity don't exist. I'm saying though, like, all right, I get you said it. a bubble. Because if it did, it wouldn't be able to. Look. But like, it's I'm it's saying, like, smoke, it still floats up. Right. It's just air, right? Mm -hmm. 
A bubble so basically all that stuff the science well, is doing is based on dirt because it's never been there. Smoke, mm -hmm. actual smoke, which the kind that we is, is visible is and, and if you look at a bubble, it's disintegrated also, a bubble particles of something. A bubble still goes down to the ground. It doesn't stay up in the air for long. It still goes down yeah, and it hits the ground and pops. Because the water is still that heavy, but air is not. This air in the bubble is still heavy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Yeah, that's what I'm Go to the ground, things that are light like, goes back up. It'll go to the ground eventually. Everything gonna hit the floor. So, so what that is, why is it floating? Why is it floating? Why is it floating? Why is it floating? Technically, no, not all bubbles come back down. They pop, they pop. They don't come back down. They don't come back down. They don't come back down. If it gets to the ground before it pops, it will go on the ground. It's gonna hit the ground. You see, when you blow a bubble out, it starts dropping. It's gonna pop though. The thing is this though. If gravity is a force, it still would pull it down. Not air though. Not the air on the inside. The water. It pulls the water down. Even with the helium, man. You put helium in the balloons, huh? You put helium in the balloons, and keep it long enough. It's still going to go down. It's starting to go down. That's because the helium went out again. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go through two more short things, and that'll be it for today, and then we'll continue next weekend. Um, another thing to think about in research is a clock that they made in 1410. It's called the Prague astronomical clock. It is a flat clock. It shows you how everything works according to the sun with all the time. Um, I think all the um, signs and things like that. Our moon, our sun, everything. Um, the periscope was made in 1854. We have a lighthouse that was made in 1696. The sundial was made in 293 BC. The gyroscope was made in 1852, and now we have the sun, moon, and flat earth clock in 2018. The only, the only way these things can tell you the time is if you're on a flat earth. If you were on a round earth, none of these things right here can tell you what time it is. It would be absolutely impossible. Especially, I mean, think of sundial. You should see those even on school grounds or parks or anything like that. It can only work on a flat surface. Sure, man. Um, so definitely research that and think about it. Oh, I see. Y'all all agree that the, the walk, the world is... Do I have to do it? Me and Jordan do, and he does. Uh, and the other one. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's flat, but I mean... So I mean, he's still need you guys have questions and answers questions. Right. 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 This is what we use. This is what NASA uses. This is what our flight plans use. Everything. I have history books. This is the map that we use. That's what the flat earth people use. Not no. The, the, not this the, is this is for the world. This is our world standard map. Yeah, but that's not this is what's an that's a map. Yeah, but that's not what they show you when they show you the going out of So what they oh, show right. here is pretty much exactly how the land is laid out. Is how you see it. This is the land here. This is Antarctica here. Most of your your maps now that you'll see are on the globe. You'll see Australia is really really small. Australia is two or three times the size of the United States. They show usually um, Africa is really small. Africa is yeah, the largest huge. country. It's yeah. absolutely huge. huge. It's amazing. Um, Ten times bigger than what they say it is. Yeah. It's the crown of the life. This is also, I haven't figured out exactly where this map came from, um, but I thought it was pretty cool, so I purchased it and got them all laminated. Uh, but it also still shows that we're flat and how everything's situated. And then it also shows people's voyages around the land, so you'll be able to look up that information. Um, this is our square and stationary earth map. A guy made this map according to the Bible scriptures in 1893. Um, he figured this was the best depiction. It's got the four corners, the four angels, the four wings. The one that you was talking about. 
Correct. Yeah, well, that's the four corners. That's so why I said I believe it. The way, still, this is my favorite so map, but the way that I try to use this and depict it and help people understand according mm -hmm. to what the Bible saying and according to what I believe and know of truth is that, yeah, it would be four corners and think of a pool. So think of this as a pool. You have your ice wall around here. So think this is all Antarctica. This is all ice. Your pool is full of water. So once your pool is full of water, then he says he raised up the land. The land came up out of the water. So then you have your land up out of the water of the pool. That's how you have mountains and all that. So it's not flat, as in completely flat, because we have hills, we have mountains, we have all those things that around. the ice walls around. So it. how big is so this then after the this ice would wall? be water? That's, that's something we'll never know. That's something you'll have to ask God when you get to heaven. We'll know. So that's well, something you, we you don't try, know. You're going to try to fly that plane over there. Huh? You're going to try to fly that plane over there. We can yeah, tell you it. how But you will know when you go to heaven, you're going to be seeing it. Okay, if right. they don't have yeah, let, let me tell you this. This is a simple scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Richard E. Berg went so many miles. Three o'clock so next week, miles. or Hello? if the time changes, we'll let Jerry know what he would tell you. Sure. It might I'm be back. Right. It depends on how Jerry works at. It could right. be like nice this time. Yeah. Crystal, uh, well, how y'all got it? Nice being you, baby. Hi, Crystal. Nice being you, too. Hi. All right, my brother. All right, bro. All right. All right, all right. Nice meeting you. So, all right, Judah. We'll take a look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah. We thank everybody. We will continue so, yeah. next week. Bye,